We'd gone through our kind of normal touring cycle process, started writing a bunch of songs, and just right after that, Milo, you know, approached Bill. And said he had a bunch of songs and wanted to do stuff. I mean, it's as simple as that. The Descendants were reforming. That blew our fucking minds. We were gonna get a chance to see The Descendants actually play, because I never had gotten a chance to see The Descendants play. I got a call from Bill saying, would you want to do a Descendants record, not an all record? And I was like, hell yeah, I would. It was pretty exciting at that point because we just had so much material. It was, it was like, how are we gonna pare this down to the critical number? But part of that equation also makes you think it's gonna be a fucking great record. When Everything Sucks came out, okay, this is it. They're gonna fucking happen. People are finally gonna recognize that the Descendants are awesome. Every song was amazing, and it just sounded so huge and so present. It was like the guitars were right there in your face. What will it be like when I get old? Will I still hop on my bike and ride around town? That's when Carl really, to me, stepped up his songwriting. I mean, he just killed it. I can't say enough about what's upstairs in that guy. He just has this huge bank of knowledge. I, th I consider Carl a better bass player than me. A little more out of the box, a little more out there. This guy is killing it night after night after night. Just him playing, making every other bass player in the world just cry. I mean, fuck, we've been doing this a long time. Close up on Stefan. Stefan Adgerton is a guitar player's guitar player see the, the chords that he pulls off. He plays these really cool demonic sounding leads. What I do is filtered through a lack of true knowledge of music, just a, an incredible love for it. Like a genuine sweetheart of a guy. I used to call him Poppy because if I had a problem, I could go talk to Stefan. It's really gratifying when you meet people that are your heroes and they're actually as cool and as friendly as you hope that they're gonna be, especially Stefan. He's also incredibly smart, runs very deep. It's weird that all those guys are in one band. It's almost unfair. You know, it seemed like they were embraced by the whole punk community again. Descendants were just total heroes to us growing up. Like, for me, I literally had the tennis racket pretending to be in the Descendants. And then our band got really popular in the second wave, along with Offspring and Rancid and No Effects and Green Day. This was an interesting thing because it was a convergence of, like, pop culture and what Descendants had always been doing. I mean, that's when you really saw people like appreciate the descendants the way they should be.